Providence might just be America's best kept secret. Historic yet contemporary, innovative and exciting, Providence is a confident cosmopolitan city that retains its original small town charm. In the first of two episodes, explore the heart and soul of this unique and vibrant city. From world-class education at Brown University and Rhode Island School of Design to a dining, arts, and entertainment scene envied across the nation, Providence somehow brings everything together into one beautifully contained package. In the heart of the town is the imposing State House, the fourth largest self-supported marble dome in the world. From the summit, the Capitol overlooks the G-Tech building and the Duncan Center, which hosts live events, including Comic-Con. Despite all that, Providence remains a great alternative to paying top dollar in Boston and New York, with housing costs 186% more expensive in the Massachusetts state capital. For the commuter population, this metropolitan area also boasts direct train links to Boston, only 45 minutes away, and New York Penn Station in approximately three hours. You know, one of the great things about Providence is you can get anywhere on one of these rentable public scooters. Although a fleet of Aston Martin DBSs would be way cooler. Yeah, don't be ridiculous. What you want is a Ferrari Roma. Whatever mode of transport you take, be sure to visit the artsy restaurant line duos of Thayer and Wickenden Street, located between the East End and College Hill, the home of Brown and Rizzi. Speaking of which, back in 07, Red Bull held a soapbox derby race down these very streets to prove the people of Providence have no fear risking life, limb, or pride. So we decided to give it a go. Oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. Well, I'll do it. We quickly <laughs> abandoned the scooter idea and continued on foot. With stunning properties on either side of the road, Blackstone Boulevard is the Providence equivalent of living in a home near Central Park. Close by is the Fox Point Hurricane Barrier, a city landmark powered by five, four and a half thousand horsepower pumps. Not that this is likely to happen. The worst you can expect in Providence is a heavy snowfall. Or having to hear the hot air rolling off Capitol Hill. Moving on. India Point Park hosts live events throughout the year, including food festivals, such as the Seafood Festival held every September. But of course, at a seafood festival, James had to get a soggy. Next time, discover Federal Hill and the west side of the city. See yourself living in Providence or the local area? Contact us today and begin searching for your dream Providence home.